Hey everyone, this is Julie Murphy. Today I'm going to show you how to use our applique button that's in our edit screen in Embroidery. So let's get started. First we will actually go into Embroidery. So let's choose one of our designs. I think we're going to choose one of the animals. Okay, so we are now in our animal section. I think I'll choose the cat. So if we just started stitching at this point, we would end up with all of this design and it would not be an applique. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit set. And now our cat is on our screen. And we can choose the edit button. And here is, right down here, it looks like a shield, is our applique. Now before we choose to applique our cat onto our fabric, we want to go into our notepad up here at the top and change the distance. Now there's many different options we have with this, um, but our distance is set on page eight and it's down here where it says embroidery applique distance. And this just means how far away do we want our applique to go around our design. So for this one, I actually want it pretty close to my cat and instead of it being two millimeters away, I'm going to reduce it down to zero. So you can set that however large you want your applique to be, but for this I'm going to actually say at zero, so it's going to be right up beside the cat. We'll answer OK. Now we're back at our screen, and we can choose the applique button. Now watch what happens. Let me zoom in so you can see it as I get ready to press applique. So as I choose applique, it adds it right around my cat. So let me zoom out for you. And once I have it set there, I'll press embroidery. So if I start stitching how the machine has it, it's gonna start with his ears and it's gonna work through the colors. And down here, you can see, see the little scissors right here? It actually starts our applique um, outline. So let me show you what we can do at this point. We're going to choose our plus minus down here and we're going to actually scan through until we see up here in the viewing window our first outline for our cat. These are going through all the different parts of the cat as it would stitch. Now I do want you to see this because this is something I might actually add to my applique it's just um, doing an outline of his body. That's his nose. That's another applique, which I think is kind of cool. And there is the first um, outline. Can you see that? Let me zoom in for you. This is just the viewing window. If we get, Once we've done the stitch, we're able to trim. That's what the little scissors are for. And you'll see this one, the scissors are gone. And this gives us one more outline for our applique. And that one is our satin stitch that will go around it. So let me zoom back out and show you what we're going to do. So now we're ready to get started on stitching. So before we start, I want to back up to the one that has the scissors. And even though we've scanned through it and we're, we're down inside the pattern and you can see that we're on color number 9 out of 11, this is going to be our first one that allows us to trim our fabric. Let's go over to the fabric. Now, now I have my fabric placed and I'm ready to do the first tack down stitch. That is our tack down stitch. I'm gonna actually remove the frame from the machine and trim up my fabric and I'll be right back with you. Now our cat is all trimmed up and ready for the next stitch.
One thing you want to check is, you know, any trimming that you did before. If you want to trim any, any of the extra off at this point, you can. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm going to keep going forward. Let me show you the screen one more time. It's showing us a light zigzag, and then it's going to actually do our satin stitch. So let's move back over to the fabric. And as we get ready to do the satin stitch, we'll lower our presser foot and press start. And there we go. We have an outline of our cat that is built into our machine and it can finish it. I can be done at this point if I just want the outline or I can actually go and back up on the screen and stitch some of the interior stitches if I would like to at this point. Let me show you that. Back at the screen we can now scan back through until we find the stitches we would like to add to our Here's one of the outlines. There's his little nose. And there's another really neat um, fill. So I think we'll go ahead and stitch that one and see if I'm happy with it. We'll say okay. And there he is, all stitched out using the applique button on our edit and embroidery. Thanks for watching.